Hello everybody, this is Kelly James Barker. You're watching Spotlight on the Ozarks. My guest tonight is a young lady from Birdtown, Arkansas. Yes, Birdtown, Arkansas. Her name is Sherry Palladino. You don't want to miss tonight's show. We'll be back right after this commercial. Hello folks, my name is Jason Richeson. I'm the lead guitar player for Kelly's Country Junction and I'm here to tell you about MJT Guitars, made in Carthage, Missouri. If you would like a custom made vintage style guitar, then you need to talk to Mark Jenny. He'll help you out with the style, feel and sound you're looking for. They specialize in custom age finishes and are priced affordable, made with you in mind for the perfect sound and fit. MJT Guitars, made for the working man. Here we are at JR's and we've got lots of boots. You want wild and crazy? Or we've got nice brown traditional boots for that good old cowboy. Come on in. You can not only find great western wear at JR's, but you can find great CDs by Kelly Lee James. My best bet. He's an old bronc rider, just an old bullfighter. Lord, I watched him. <laughs> And we're back after those commercials, our commercial, or man, I never know if it's one or two commercials, I don't know, but anyway, we're back. And we have our guest, I told you, her name is Sherry Palladino. Sherry? Kelly? Good to have you on tonight. Thank you for having me. Um, I guess your your beau brought you up here. He did. did. Clinton. He did. Yeah. That's how we met, wasn't it? That was correct. Yeah. So the law school now, owner came up here to play for you. And you're going to do some music tonight. Yes, I am. Okay, a little bit later in the show, she'll be here doing some music, and then I guess Clint's going to help you with that. He is. He okay. is. Okay. Uh, and they were talking, you know, I think Clint brought it up that you're getting ready to go in the studio. We are. We're going to uh, the Crystal Studios. Um, we're doing a CD. I've written a couple of songs. I need to write some more, but um, I've written a couple of songs on my own and kind of excited about it. Well, I know one of the songs you're going to do today is uh, about Clint. It is. Clint, is it Clinton or Clint? Clint. Clint? Clint. Clint, not Clinton. It's technically Clinton. I go by Clint. Okay, well, I was calling him both. So I don't want to get punched in the mouth or anything. So I hate that. You don't <laughs> do that. Hate hate that when that happens. But um, you wrote this one song about him? I sure did. What's the name of it? What if I said? Well, that's what I'm asking. Did you write that song about him? I did. What's the name of it? What if I said? Oh, that's the name of that's it. That's the name of the song, yes. <laughs> that was our tip, folks, at Abbott and Costello. <laughs> <laughs> Who's on first? I don't know. That's on second. Uh, yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm. So, now what studio are you going into? The Crystal Studio. Did you tell me that? I did. <laughs> well, I was up late and up. I was up late and up early, so here we go. <laughs> uh, uh, and you're going to do a whole album? Uh, yeah, we're going to try to do at least maybe eight, maybe ten songs on the on the CD. All your songs? All my songs. Well, we might have to have you come up and just do a Sherry Palladino show sometime. We can do that. Yeah. I wrote one coming up here, so... Really? Yeah, I did. What's the name of it? I haven't named it yet, but I just... Um, it's about my life experience, and um, I just kind of want to share it with everybody. Give, yeah. a, give everybody a... A mirror into my life and what happened to me and maybe I could help somebody else in their life oh cool yeah yeah that's uh, I think that's probably everybody's hope yes in entertainment if you're really in it to help people you know what we do is uh, we'll do comedy in our music we'll, well mine's comedy anyway because I usually mess it up so but uh, you, you want people to smile you know, you and do. laugh. That's what I do anything for these shows. You know, we may not have a laugh a minute because it's about people and in real life. And But uh, uh, if we can get a laugh out, out of somebody for the folks out there, then that we kind of, we fish for that. You know, right. I'm fishing for laughs the whole time. I'm, I want laughs. Right. I'll reel them in. Well, my motive for this song was um, that I wrote on the way up here was to give hope to people. I think some people think that they're alone in their life and things that they're going through, and I just yeah. want them to know that there's hope. Yeah, yeah. You know, there's a lot of times when you're going through something bad, or, or it's bad to you anyway, seems like you wonder if you're the only person in the world. Right. You know? Uh, and so. I was there once myself, so I just want to I want to share that with everybody. Okay. So, now, do you still play uh, music in your churches? Or I do. I do. Um, I go to a church um, 
Uh, it's called Smith Springs Free Will Baptist Church in Marlton, Arkansas. Okay. Uh, we have a pianist right now, but I fill in for, for her from time to time. But I've played there since I was, I guess, 13 or 14 years old. Ooh, okay, that's like your home church then. It is. You know it everybody is. in there probably. Oh, I do. <laughs> my mother went there, um, me and my mother both. Uh, she passed away about six years ago, so my dad goes there now, so I attend with him. Okay, that's great. I was raised in the Assemblies God Church over in uh, Kansas, a little town of Los Oswego. Kansas and you know small towns and small town churches which really is probably where my my folks all played music so I, I had it from them uh, away from church but then at church is kind of like my first stage right. you know where I would take my guitar when I was 14 or whatever and 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 sit with the uh, other folks and we play and, and uh, we had a piano player by the name of Shirlene and uh, man she just rip that piano and bump and down like Jerry Lewis you know I thought, wow. So she was partly my idol for me to take up playing the piano. You know, I loved her playing. So now you play the piano. I do. Do you play Jerry Lewis? Uh, not quite. No. I yeah. wish I could. I wish I could. Do, I wish I could do all that fancy <laughs> stuff. But I, I, I play a lot by ear. I can pick almost anything up, and yeah. uh, mine's more of a churchy, okay. churchy kind of music. Kind of like the, you know. I never did learn this style. I don't know what this is, where they, they jump back and forth, you know. I tried it, and I'm like, hmm. Yeah, that's me. Oh, is that you? That's me. Oh, good deal. Good. I'm <laughs> glad there's some of us. I can't do that. I actually got kicked out of my first Bible college. <laughs> I shouldn't tell that, but I did. Well, it's not a big surprise, is it? <laughs> it's me. I was in this Bible college, and I'm not going to give the name, and uh, they had chose me to be the music director, not the music director, but the uh, uh, well, the, whatever you call it. I've been in charge of the music part of it, but that we had a director over everybody, and they had a big bus, and we was going to travel and everything. And but, but I did learn from Jerry Lee Lewis, not personally, but you know on the records, and uh, that was my style. So, and I had a little Floyd Kramer, but. For some reason, when I went to this Bible college, I just got wild. <laughs> now I can I, play Floyd Kramer. I can yeah. do that. Oh, I love Floyd. That's what I, I play now. Me. But I was rocking and rolling, I guess, too much for him, and so they took me into the office. Yeah, I was just a kid. I said, no, you can't play that way. I said, oh. I said, it's about to learn how to play. I couldn't do this, you know, which is okay. I just didn't know what my style. So, lo and behold, I forgot, like I always do, and, and got caught playing Boogie Woogie again. And we was doing something like uh, Rock of Ages, you know, Rock of Ages. Man, we was going. And that was, uh, I got kicked out of that college. <laughs> I feel you, my, my piano teacher uh, growing up, she, I used to drive her crazy because I played by ear, and she wanted me to play it like it was written. Yeah. And when I would go in there, she would say, okay, play it like you're supposed to. <laughs> I'd play it in the last 10 minutes, she would say, okay, now play it your way. Yeah, yeah, and I think uh, when you play it your way, it always sounds best. I think so. As a rule, you know. So. I think so. I, uh, I know, like, charts and numbers and, and stuff, and, and I can read music if I have to, but mm -hmm. I just don't, uh, I don't, I don't. You know, uh, oh, if you're playing with a band and you're somewhere, you may have to have the number system, you know, like, you know, whatever. So you kind of know what the next change is. But other than that, uh, I'm, I'm pretty well just doing whatever I want to do, whether it's piano, guitar, whatever. So do you play anything else besides the piano? Uh, no, I don't. How come? Dulcimer. Oh, dulcimer. Well, yeah, the dulcimer. He bought me a dulcimer, and I can... Hammer, I can, hammer dulcimer or, or lap dulcimer? A lap dulcimer. Yeah. Um, I can play it. I can pick it out. Um, um, he bought me one, and it's still sitting on the kitchen table. So. We got one on the wall. People can't see it, but on the wall. I see that. Hey, I'm, I'm close to Arkansas. It's on the wall over there. <laughs> <laughs> we're from Oklahoma, so we're next door. So, right. Yeah. Uh, well, anyway, so you don't, uh, what do you mean it's on the kitchen table? You're not playing it? No, I, he bought it for me, and I played it there for a little bit, and I just kind of left it sitting there, so that's that. kind of a sore subject with well, him. But you need to take it, because like, if you just go on and you want to do some folk music or something, mm -hmm. it's easy to take, and just, you know. It's easy to play. It's easy to play. It is, yeah. Isn't it? I was the uh, vice president of the uh, Dostermer Club in Joplin. And that's, uh, that's how I learned to play dulcimer because uh, I don't know how I got in on that because I, I wasn't that type of a musician. 
And somehow I went to a meeting. A good friend of mine, I guess, invited me if I think about it. And then they made me the vice president before it was over. And they wanted me to be president. I said, no. So I ended up being vice president, learned how to play the dulcimer. You know, it's a lot of fun. But I haven't picked one up either in quite a while. But once you get it, it's kind of, it's pretty easy to, to get. You it know? is. So, well, uh, when we come back, we're going to uh, visit for just a little bit more. And then I'm actually going to uh, go to another commercial, come back. And uh, we're going to have you do a couple of songs. Okay, that will be awesome. On today's show. Be happy to. I'm visiting with Sherry Palladino from Birdtown, Arkansas. Before we go, where is Birdtown, Arkansas? That is a little bit south of Wolverton Mountain. Now, that's a famous song. It is. Merle Haggard sang it. No, Clifton Flowers. No, but Merle Haggard Clifton sang it. Clifton Flowers. Did I say that wrong? <laughs> yeah, it was about him, but Merle Haggard sang okay, it. Okay, gotcha. Cow, hard to get along with. Them. We're going to a commercial. We'll be back after this message. <laughs> it's Fonzie. Hey, Fonz. Did you watch Kelly James in the seventies review show? Oh yeah. No, it's hey. Hey. <laughs> We're back after that commercial. Oh, boy. They don't know what goes on behind the... <laughs> they the, sure don't. the cameras go off, that's when the good stuff happens. That's right. Anyway. Speaking of the good stuff... Right. <laughs> that old boy sitting over there. I, I see... Let me see your hand there. Engaged? Yes. Fiance. Fiance. How, how, well, uh, so when's the big day? Uh, we haven't set one yet. He's a guy. You're going to push him, you know? Mm, I know, but... Well, don't get in a rush, you know, crazy kids. We've been together for a long time, so it's, you know, we're not in any rush. How long have you been together? Uh, going on seven years. Well, I did. That's good. <laughs> I can't get, oh, I'll just be quiet. Seven minutes is a good record for me. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you guys going to be uh, combining your music uh, together then? Yes, right? we are. Yes, we are. We um We've um, formed a band. Uh, we combined it with our middle names. Wayne is his middle name, and Lynn is mine. So Wayne Lynn is our Wayne band Lynn. Name. Wayne, Wayne Lynn. Lynn. I just uh, got in a new group. Uh, well, actually, we've been playing together uh, for a while, and uh, but we had to come up with a name. Mm -hmm. Have you seen that new name of our group? No, I haven't. No, it's uh, Dusty Kermit and the Whatnots. Yeah. There's nobody out there, Dusty Kermit. And there's nobody in the band named Dusty Kermit. <laughs> but there was nobody in the band named Leonard Skinner. There was nobody in the band named Herman for Herman's Hermits. So, so I don't know. We just thought that's catchy, you know. Ain't it Mike? <laughs> he says yes. He's the drummer. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, uh, I hear you guys may be going to Branson when you leave here today. That's what we're, yeah, that's our plan. Well, if you see old Terry Wayne Sanders, he's a co-host, you know, when mm -hmm. he can make it. Uh, tell him I said hi. If I will. Run, run across to him. He's kind of on his off uh, season right now, you know, January, February, part of February. Uh, have you ever seen Terry Wayne? No, I haven't. Seven times, at this point, seven times um, Branson Entertainer of the Year. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. So every time I start to tell that, I think of Harley Race, the wrestler. You don't know Harley Race, no. right? No, you're too young. Well, <laughs> folks, you remember Harley Race. Oh, and another thing, got to straighten out something because there's people out there. They are fuming at this, at me. It was not Merle Haggard that sang Clifton Clowers. It was Claude King. Claude King. And see, I knew that. I and I just, said, and I said Clifton Flowers, and I meant Clif Clifton Clowers, so well, I messed up too. So. That, that's an honest mistake. That's all right. But see, I knew all along. I just wanted to make sure that these guys knew. That's all right. And so, folks, now you know it's Claude King that does Clifton Clow Clowers. That's hard to say. It is. Especially, it is. Especially when you talk like we do. That's right. <laughs> oh well. Anyway, what what are you going to do? Have you may have already told? 
all this is. I, I've been up since four o'clock and I went to bed at midnight. I'm tired. <laughs> But are you going to, what are you singing? Are you going to sing? Sure you're going to sing, but what are you going to sing? I'm going to uh, sing a song that I wrote called He Knows. Okay. And I'm going to um, sing a song called What If I Said that I wrote about Clint. Okay. That's the one that I heard because we're Facebook friends. That's and, right. Uh, it, to me, it had kind of a Jesse Coulter feel to right. it. Right. And uh, see, this girl's way younger than, than me and uh, and probably her, her fiance, you know. See, there's hope for me having a younger woman, buddy. If guys like you are my idols, <laughs> but uh, she don't know who Jesse Coulter is. She asked. She had to ask Clint. He said, "I sound like Jesse Coulter." Is was that good? <laughs> yeah, I said, "Is that is that an insult or is that a compliment?" No, that is definitely a compliment. Appreciate uh, that. Okay, we're gonna go to commercial real quick. I used to tell people I played the fiddle and uh, I played the violin or whatever. I said I sound like I. I said, I sound like Jack Benny. And some people go, oh, you're really that good? I'm like, have you ever heard Jack Benny? <laughs> <laughs> Folks, we're going to commercial. We'll be back after these commercials. And uh, actually, we're just going to be set up and have you and, and Clint come over and uh, do a couple of songs for We'd us. We'd love to. And we'll you. be back right after this message. Well, I'm a city boy, but I was born to Rome. It takes a pair of boots to make you feel at home. It gives me some personality, you know. Some says this is me. When you want to get, you get
The name of this song is called He Knows, and I wrote it for people to know about God knowing your pain and your sorrow, just to give everybody hope, so I hope you enjoy it. Hi, I'm Terry Wayne Sanders inviting you to join me and Kelly James Barker on Spotlight on the Ozarks right here. We have a lot of fun. You're going to get some scoop on the Ozarks, things you never heard of before, and stories you can tell your grandkids. That's right. Join us right here on Spotlight on the Ozarks.
Okay, laying all jokes aside, this is Sherry Paladino. She's been our guest today. This is her fiance, Clinton. 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 Clinton Gilbert. Clinton, Clinton Gilbert. Clinton Gilbert. You came up. Either, either one. Either okay. one work. <laughs> I tell you what I want you to do. We're just going to go out with another song. And I'm sure I appreciate you being my guest today. I appreciate you having me. Uh, the other song that you did, a first song, is uh, I Love That. Uh, it was, what's it called? What If I Said. What If I Said. I couldn't remember the name of it, but I do remember how, how much I like that. So would you do that for the folks as we go back out? I sure will. Okay, you've been watching uh, Spotlight on the Ozarks. has been a little different tonight. It always is when this man shows up. So, <laughs> But anyway, he'll be back uh, in uh, May. Right. You're going to come up and do some more music with his group, Lost Corner. So, yeah, that'll be before too long. So, but we're going to go out, Miss Sherry, with you playing uh, okay. What If I Said. Okay. For Clinton. This is your fiance. Yes, he is. Well, I gotta go then. Okay. We'll see you on Spotlight on the Ozarks next week. My name is what? Kelly James Barker. Oh, well, thank you. I'm glad somebody knew it. What if I say?